of its uh, budget. But the message is really to try and stress the risks to the NHS. Now let's just see, that's Heidi Alexander. Now we all know that much of this campaign has been about the Conservative Party tearing lumps out of each other and lining up a successor to David Cameron. Well, it's pathetic, and I, for one, am fed up with it, because this vote next week is about so much more than the future of the Conservative Party. It's about the future of our economy, of our public services, and it's about our future place in the world. Now, we're under no illusions about the scale of the challenges facing our country or the threats posed by another four years of a Conservative government. But we are absolutely clear that the challenges will be greater and the threats will be bigger if we vote to leave the EU and the impact will be felt for generations to come. If you take our National Health Service, the economic shock of a vote to leave the European Union risks plunging the NHS into an even deeper financial crisis than it is already in. The Institute for Fiscal Studies has warned of a further two years of austerity, which could mean up to £10.5 billion worth of cuts to the Department of Health budget by the end of this Parliament. That's less money for doctors, less money for hospitals and less money for the treatment and care that we all rely upon. That's not a risk that the NHS can take and it's not a risk that families up and down the country can take either. That's why the Labour Party and the trade union movement are going to be united in the remaining days of this campaign to make the positive case for remaining in the European Union. We're going to be talking about jobs, about the economy, about our rights at work and about our public services and we will also be proud of the fact that our membership of the European Union reflects that intrinsic Labour Party value and belief that we achieve more by the strength of our common endeavour than we achieve alone. This is the vote of a generation and we're determined to go out and win it and there is nobody that is more determined to win this vote to remain in the European Union than my friend and our leader Jeremy Corbyn and I'm going to hand you over to him. here today. This is a coming together of the Labour Shadow Cabinet, the General Secretaries and members of the General Council of the TUC and many members of our party's national executive. This is the Labour movement saying that we are voting to remain in the European Union next week. We're saying that because we want to defend the very many gains that we've made by trade unions across Europe that have brought us better working conditions, longer holidays, less discrimination and maternity and paternity leave. We believe that a leave vote will put many of those things seriously and immediately at risk. Many in work will be significantly worse off when the bonfire of regulations promised by others takes place. But we also want to ex extend those rights. We best extend those rights by working with trade unions, labour parties, socialist parties, all across Europe, in the interests of the working people of the whole continent and, of course, of this country. We're making the strongest case we can. From Land's End to John O'Groats, from Norwich over to North Wales, we are making the case everywhere that Staying in the European Union gives us the opportunity to defend and extend the rights of people at work, gives us the jobs that we need and the exports that we must fulfil as a country to the rest of Europe. Therefore, we are making the strongest case we can for the good of the ordinary people of this country to vote to remain, to give us that voice to try and improve rights and justice in this country and all across Europe. It's the Labour position, it's the
the trade union position to vote to remain. That's why we've come together here today to share our values, share our determination, and share our strength. And we urge all of our supporters to think very carefully about this and vote to remain next Thursday on the 23rd. Thank you very much.